Welcome to World Geography with uh, Mohammed Adnan. Today's tutorial is related to STI, Sediment Transport Index. The STI index used for define the erosion and topographic view of stream and river. This gives a measure of a concentration of sediment and when combined with the rate of flow gives the rate of sediment discharge. Here is its formula. Uh, the STI is basically used to define the erosion and the sediment transportation uh, which we get easily from the digital elevation model and now I um, start on our study area which I have a Gujarat DM so let's do in which uh, parameters we need for it first uh, we need uh, to know the flow direction then we go for the flow accumulation and after it we go for the slope and then search the flow direction so first we find the flow direction from the DM as we put the DM then we find the flow accumulation of the flow direction we use in each So here we just give its output path. We don't need the, this one check for because it's optional. If we need, so we will do it. But now uh, force flow direction. We give its name as the FD of the DM of the drop. After it, we run it. So it should be okay. Now it will take time so I, I let it skip the video. So as you can see we get the flow direction now we are going for the flow accumulation. We just keep uh, type here flow accumulation. If uh, my spelling is right so it will become okay. Here it's come accumulation and here we give the direction which we find uh, now. As you can read it here in port flow direction and here we keep uh, if it's needed otherwise is it's optional so we not give it so here we give the output part of it as a flow accumulation of VMF uh, we just uh, remove D from here to keep it and not need the optional data. So okay, it will be run. Okay, thank you. So as you can see, we get the flow accumulation. We need to go over the formula. Uh, here is uh, we need the slope. One more thing for slope. Uh, we find the slope. Slope. Simple slope spatial data input. So here we give the DM data for finding the slope of it and give its output. Here we just write the slope S L O slope. Okay and uh, the z factor will be the optional and it will be the one okay it will take time so it will done as you can see the slope so now we apply our raster calculator formula raster calculator Raster calculator come here, and now we apply. We need to check the formula. What is it? Uh, is it a uh, power formula of the flow accumulation divided by this value is constant 22.13 and 0.6. While here you need the cell size of your area, 
and this value is also constant so first need to apply a power formula is it here in a conditional no math one yes is it in the math so first put is a flow accumulation then divided by uh, 22.13 divided by 22.13 then uh, again the power one so it's mean like after the comma after the comma 0.6 and steric again power then sign sign it, it will be in the trigonometric one uh, yes this one now what we should keep in the sign that is a slope and we will divide it uh, by cell size simply uh, slope then it divided uh, out of its bracket by cell size so we need what is the cell size so as you can see here is the cell size so one of them we need to copy it this one copy okay and we need to paste it here let me check yes divided it then after comma we need to put the value 1.3 uh, <coughs> okay so little space 1.3 so it will be okay now we are going to give its output part it will be the STI of which not save it run it so it will be finally done so as you can see it will come like from the 0 to uh, 1000 uh, 19421.5 value so it just uh, showing like a stream one because uh, the high value of stream have uh, more uh, transportation of uh, sediments I'm just showing it here with the difference in color so as you can see on the yellow there is a zero and a high transportation will be showing on with the blue color so I hope uh, you will understand and it will help you uh, in the sediment transportation because its value is a high on the river because it's uh, used for the stream and the river indexes. So we are the drainages and the stream path and our water flowing. So there will be the values of transportation is high as compared to the other part of land. So thanks for watching. For more informative videos you need to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.